Hey guys, welcome to today's MCAT question of the day. As always, we'll be working our way through one of the many MCAT practice problems found at MCATSelfPrep.com, the home of the free MCAT prep course. My name is Spencer Simcoe, a 97th percentile MCAT tutor, and I'll be walking you through today's practice problem as if you're one of my private tutoring students. Today, today's question comes from lesson five of the Biology 1 module. Be sure to hit pause and try this question out for yourself before watching my explanation. So with questions like these, I find it pretty useful to draw out a picture so I can understand what's happening with all the receptors and neurotransmitters and positive and negative feedback. So the first thing that's happening in this problem is we smell food and that's going to activate a dopamine producing cell. So what that's gonna do is it's gonna make dopamine. And when we make dopamine, that is going to um, increase pleasure, sens pleasure sensation. The next thing that's happening in this problem is we eat food and that activates a serotonin producing cell. So we're gonna make serotonin. And that serotonin is going to act on this receptor right here, the 5-HT2C receptor. And that receptor acts to inhibit the dopamine producing cell. So we're gonna make less dopamine than we normally would. So eating the food decreases dopamine, which leads to us feeling satisfied and full, so we stop eating. So if we were to introduce a drug here that blocks our serotonin receptor on the dopamine producing cell, we're not going to decrease the dopamine production and we're never gonna feel satisfied and full. So let's come back to our answer choices here. Our first answer choice is rapid weight loss due to a decreased appetite caused by insufficient dopamine release. Well, we talked about how this drug would actually increase our dopamine release. It would make it so the serotonin doesn't stop it. So this would not be the correct answer choice. Um, let's skip B for now. C says weight gain caused by a decreased number of available dopamine receptors. We actually didn't even discuss dopamine receptors here. That's where the dopamine would be going after it's released from the dopamine producing cell. So this would not be the correct answer choice. Okay, so let's look at answer choice D here. This says weight loss due to a decreased ability of serotonin to bind to dopamine producing cells. And while it is true that serotonin is binding to dopamine producing cells, that's not going to lead to a weight loss because it's going to lead to a prolonged dopamine release, which is going to increase your appetite. And so answer choice B here would be correct. If you enjoyed today's MCAT question of the day, be sure and give it a like. For more MCAT questions of the day, be sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel and enroll in our free MCAT prep course. If you're really looking to maximize your MCAT score, be sure and check out our elite tutoring services and request a free consultation with any of our available tutors. We'd love to chat with you about your situation and how you can maximize your MCAT score. We look forward to hearing from you soon, and we'll see you next time.